Beloved shout hallelujah. You are all welcome to tonight's program for the singles. It is a great privilege to be at the feet of Almighty God tonight again. Where we are going to be talking to ourselves. Where we are going to make ourselves to see and to know the most important things for us to know in life as regards to our marriage. This program is mainly for the singles, those who are seeking the face of God for blessing in their marriage. And I pray tonight, Almighty God, in His infinite mercy, will release His power upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight's program is going to be a wonderful one. I will be talking to us mainly on the issues that are so important and significant to your marriage. And most of the, some of the reasons why many people are delayed, why so many people have been hindered from finding their right spouse. But I pray for you tonight, the Lord God of Elijah himself, who release his anointing upon you and to bring your book. Let us pray as we go into this program. Father, we thank you for this program. We thank you for what you are going to do in the life of your children here tonight. Father, we thank you for the life of your children that are connected to us to this program tonight because you are going to do something wonderful in their life. Thank because every yoke of that power shall be broken upon their destiny and upon their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we worship you because of this answer us. Therefore, tonight, we want to see you in this program. As we are going to be talking to ourselves, we are going to be deliberating this program. Lord Jesus, release your power upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, there is going to be, this program is going to be interactive in nature. And those of us that are on our Facebook Live, You'll be able to shout us. You can go to the chat box and then you'll be shouting us and we'll, be, uh, we'll immediately respond to your chats. Whether there are questions that will need to be asked and uh, you'll be able to ask your questions and there's going to be a kind of interactive. So God will bless you in Jesus' name. Tonight, we're going to be looking at what I call breaking the shame of marital delay. You see, one of the greatest problems of man is ignorance. Is the major problem of man, ignorance. No wonder the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Where knowledge is absent, where there is no knowledge, ignorance will abound. And where ignorance pitch is tent, destruction abounds in such a place. Failure abounds in such a place. And that is why it is important for us to understand that very particular factor. We as Christians that are looking unto God for good marriage, for good home. We as children of God that are crying to God daily, say, Lord, when will my wife appear? When will my husband appear? And the more some people struggle, the more they are delayed. The more some people are striving to get things done mentally, the more the enemies, the, 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 the way the enemy is holding them down. But after tonight's program, I want to believe that your life will never remain the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. That the King of Kings himself will release his power upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So we know that tonight, I'm going to be looking at what I call Breaking the chains of marital delay. Breaking the chains of marital delay. 
What do we understand by this? You see, I'm taking this lecture, this program, in a very relaxed manner, so that you have a better understanding, so that you yourself you can have a very broad knowledge about why you are still where you are now. Why you are still where you are now. There are so many factors that are responsible for you to still be single up to now. There are so many people who are not poor, who have good jobs, they are handsome, they are beautiful, they are well to do, but no man wants to marry them. No woman wants to marry them. And they are struggling day and night to get married. There are some that has entered into several relationships and everything has broken down. None of the relationships succeed. Then in any way, none of them succeed. Then in any way, they have tried everything they could, all the phases in marriage, when it comes to terms of relationship, is failure. All their relationship has been destroyed. All of them hit the rock. None of them, none of their relationship were able to sell through. Why? There are powers, there are situations, and there are factors that are responsible for this. And that is what we are looking at tonight. So I want you to relax and concentrate and follow me as we discuss this matter. This matter is a serious one. It's a serious matter that you and I need to look into seriously. And I pray for you tonight. The God that we serve on this mountain. It will arise and it will settle your case in Jesus' name. Your marriage will appear by fire. And any part that is behind your marital delay shall be destroyed and be wasted in Jesus' name. You will receive your miracle by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, one thing I want us to understand tonight is this. What are the factors that are responsible for marital delay? Because I really want us to have a kind of understanding. So I will be committing a position. I will speak both your baptism and every language that will make everybody to understand me tonight. I won't come go no find out. You know, he will go no papu do tia here to feel ya na ba ni ni be ya wo. Why is it that you have prayed everything? There are some people, they have fasted, they have prayed, yet the problem refused to go. There are things we are going to look at tonight. Because some people, they will pray. They have to say, I have prayed, I have prayed, I have prayed. Yes, nothing is happening. Nothing will happen because there are things that you need to know that you don't know. And that's what we call ignorance. Ignorance. It's a killer. Ignorance is a destroyer. Ignorance is the mother of all foolishness. And that is number one factor that leads to marital delay. Number one factor that causes marital delay is one of the most important tools in the hands of the enemy that makes one to tarry beyond limit, to tarry beyond expectation at the juncture of marriage. And many people have been detained at the juncture of marital today. But if your case is like that tonight, the God of Dr. Nikolai that will call upon this morning will set you free by fire in the name of Jesus. I say we set you free by fire. He will set you free by fire. He will set you free by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, uh, we are going to we want to connect to the, uh, to the Facebook Live. We are already on Facebook Live, but we want to be receiving your responses now. So, as soon as the technical man is able to get us, uh, get me connected to that uh, uh, plot, I will be. I will be looking at your responses and your questions as we move ahead. But for now, just listen to me. As soon as I'm ready for that, I'll tell you to begin to send in your comments. From there, to send your comment to the comment box there at the Facebook Live. 
So, beloved, ignorance is one of the major tools, major tool that the enemy is using to detain people, to detain people in the custody of Malta today. But I'm praying for somebody tonight. Every we arise for the sake and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said before, ignorance is the mother of foolishness. And foolishness is the number one internal enemy of progress. When you are ignorant, is the mother of all foolishness. Whatever foolishness you display, it is as a result of ignorance. Whether you have bad character, it's a result of ignorance. Whether it is because of your nagging, it is because of ignorance. Remember, you have that uh, you are displaying a kind of immaturity or rigidity. It's a sort of ignorance. And ignorance is the mother of all foolishness. And foolishness is in itself <laughs> is the number one internal enemy of progress. So once you discover that nothing is happening, you are prayed, you are fasted, and nothing is happening. Are you ignorant? That are you informed? Do you have knowledge? Are you aware of yourself? Do you know who you are? Do you even sit down and take account of yourself? Why is it that some people they will even get married after three or four months of their marriage, the marriage will collapse? Why is it some people will get married after three years of marriage, the marriage will collapse? Why is it that some people, when people know after 20 years, that marriage still collapse? Why? Ignorance. Ignorance. And why is it some people, they will struggle, they will pray at the age of 20, at the age of 30, 35, 40, 40, 40 years, 50 years, and they are going to do. But no money, nobody is talking to them and nobody is looking at them. Why? Ignorance. It's because of ignorance. Lack of knowledge. It's a terrible problem. And I'm praying tonight, the God of Elijah will set you free in Jesus' name. Beloved, let's all of us open to the book of, uh, book of Isaiah. Let us look at the book of Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 54. Let's see what it says there. Isaiah 54. And I will read from the verse 13. Isaiah 54 verse 13. Let's quickly look at that. God bless you in Jesus' name. Open your Bible with the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 13. And all thy children shall be taught of the law, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear and from, and, uh, from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Listen to that scripture. Say, terror will not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. <laughs> Keep that scripture in your mind. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coal in the fire, and that bringeth forth a punishment for his work. And I have created the water to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And their righteousness and their righteousness is of me, say the Lord. Listen and be careful about that. Listen to that scripture very, very well. Say, Behold, they shall surely gather together upon thee, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. But why are they not falling for your sake? Why are they gathering together against you? And yet, they are not falling. Why? These are the questions that are begging for answers tonight. Oh, my God, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go you need to ask yourself, why is it that you are not getting, why is it that everything, anything you do about marriage is failing? Why is it that the enemy is prospering against you? You need to ask yourself, after you have prayed that God for the universe, you have done so many things, and the problem remains, then there must be something 
that, that, that go beyond. Because when the handshake is going beyond the elbow, there must be a reason behind it. And that is what we are here tonight. You have been listening to messages, you have been listening to various seminars, counseling, and so on, and things like that. And none of them is useful for you. Why? Ignorance. 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 And one of the products of ignorance for singles is this. One of the major products of ignorance that youth as a bit today, that youth are used to today, is what I call the act of carelessness. They are careless about sex. They are careless the way of relationship they enter into. They are careless about their life. They are careless about the peer group or peer pressure. Carelessness is one of the major problems as a result of ignorance. Fornication is a terrible factor that the enemy is using to cause delay to so many marriages, to so many people's lives, to so many people's marriage. Or Poloko Eyon, as she said to one, she said, in Bano Paul, like it's a bay a woe. Can a man shall be ready. Why don't they commit fornication? Now you are the talk. I just make what make them listen to me very well tonight. That's why I want to say the thing I want to talk this night. Now the last one I want to talk about because I want to tell you the truth. When you fornicate, you they carry man around. This one carry you, this one carry you, this one carry you. Say, eh, you want to test them, you want to know the one that is best for you. Now, so they carry women around too. A man that is carrying women, you carry this one, you say, no good. You carry this one, say, no good. You carry this one, say, no good. You know what I'm saying? As they carry them, they have relationship with them. They are having sexual intercourse with them. Now, so it's a great problem for yourself because the more sex you have with people that are not your spouse, the more, the more problem you create for yourself. And the more you are fragmenting your destiny, you are fragmenting your life. And that is why the spirit of Bhagavan is pursuing so many people. Many people, they are not stable in anything. They are stable. Bhagavan spirit, they are moving from here to there, moving from that place to that place. Why? Because of ignorance. I want to see the man that is good in bed before I can marry him. Continue. Don't change. What will change you will change you. Ignorance leads to fornication. The Bible made us understand that Married men should be undefined. You don't need to have sex with anyone before you, before you marry. You don't need it. Keep yourself holy. As a woman, keep yourself. Some people, they go ask me and say, I, I, I don't be holy Mary. You don't be holy Mary. Only be holy, only, only way to you be self. When you say you don't be holy Mary. Fornication is one of the major force that the enemy is using. A man that's supposed to cherish you, a man that's supposed to keep you and honor you, ah, be sister. You need to keep yourself. Hey, you are bold, you are important, you are special until that day when you are married. You don't need to submit your body to anybody. But some people now, just because slight provocation from an ordinary cup of ice cream, they say I will buy you one cup of ice cream, iPhone, because of iPhone. You are selling your body. I say you want money. Let me tell something. There are some people who are not, there are some brothers. All the brothers of this here, they are looking for people who are spiritual. They are looking for people who are not immoral. They are looking for moral people. People with moral uh, attitude. People with uh, spiritual intelligence. Not people with that lacks manner. That can sell themselves at any point in time. Just because of anything. A man takes you out, buys, buys uh, fried rice for you, buys ice cream for you, and as a result of that, you just open your leg. I'm not only sister these days, even some brothers too. Some brothers too. The enemy has caged them as a result of fornication. And that is why they are struggling to be to marry. They are struggling to get married because in fornication, you know, sex is spiritual, not ordinary. 
And that is what I want to understand tonight. That sex is spiritual. It is not ordinary. It is deeper than when you look at it. There is something behind sex that is that go beyond social relationship. That goes beyond ordinary emotion. It is what we call spiritual knowledge behind sex. The spiritual knowledge behind sex. The day you are exposed to it, the day you come across it, the day you have the knowledge of it, ah, from that day you will keep yourself. Because sex is more than having affairs together. It is spiritual. So many things take place. There are a lot of demonic transactions that takes place when you are having sex with somebody that is not your husband, that is not your wife. Someone you are not married to. There are a lot of demonic transactions going to taking place there. Like I always tell you before, you know, there is a particular lady that brought a brother. Uh, the brother said, uh, I brought this brother, they want to terminate him. Why do they want to terminate him? Say, he's my boyfriend. Yes. After that, say, uh, you see, uh, yesterday he had sex with me. Okay, go ahead. And say, sir, you see, uh, anytime he speaks with me, uh, the point of the ghost will appear and he will carry, he will, he will come and collect his farm and will take it to the, to the, to the marine kingdom. And that is your friend. And the brother was shaking like a leaf. That is someone that his mother has said to go to, to, to the university to go and study. Now you go there and you begin to have you begin to have affairs, sexual affairs with someone you are not married to. You're only killing yourself. Look at such a brother. He, they are about terminating him. That termination does not translate to die physically. It may be the totality of his destiny in life. Including smiling, but I became through that sexual intercourse that I am having with this girlfriend that says he loves you. Now, submitting your sin men to the Kumari kingdom. Do you know why you are delayed now? Sister, the day that brother climbs over you may be the day your glory disappeared. The day that your sugar that carries you and climb over you may be the day that your destiny has been mortgaged. And now you say, I have done deliverance, I have prayed, nothing has happened. How can something happen? You go to Mani Kingdom and collect your, your virtues there now. May Lord have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. So these are the reasons, you know. I just I'm, I'm just let I'm just telling you the truth so that you can have the knowledge of what we are talking about. Because the Bible made us understand that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Why so many people will not get married in life is as a result of ignorance. Not everybody will get married. Only those who have knowledge. Only those who have the knowledge of heaven. Only those who are able to pray themselves out. Only those who have the, the, the source of understanding and information about their life can have breakthroughs in marriage. So you have never seen people that are 60 years are not married now. Who are 70 years, male and female, who are 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, and they have nobody to marry. And they are beautiful and they are going to do. Why? I am praying for you, your testimony will not carry for her. Because there is a testimony that has question mark. At the age of 60, you are just getting married. <laughs> That's your testimony, ask for her. I am praying for you, your testimony will not come in Jesus' name. So I've said, like I've said before, uh, why is it that they gather against you and they prosper against you is because of your ignorance. And I said, ignorance is the mother of foolishness. And foolishness is the number one internal enemy of man. And one of the foolish acts of man, of brothers and sisters, of singles this day, is what I call fornication, carelessness about sex. Carelessness about sex is an eternal enemy. May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' name. Another one, another factor I want to talk about tonight because of our time. Before, because we still have, we have a lot of prayers to pray tonight. A lot of prayers to pray. I have so many factors here, but I've taken out of three or four so that we can go and pray. And when you want to ask your questions, you will send the questions to the we are, we are there now. We, okay, God bless you. So, you send your questions to the Facebook. 
life to the, go to the sharp box and send your question there. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, another thing I want to talk about is uh, we call it negative character. It's also a baby of ignorance. Negative character is a baby of ignorance. You want to marry, you don't have character. Your attitude to everything is bad. The way you talk is bad. The way you respond to things are bad. Even in your group in the church, your, your responses to everything there is bad. Even in your peer group, in your class, in your school, everything you do, your character, everybody knows that you have a bad character. Your temper, ah, nobody can withstand it. The, the, your, heart, your temper is as hot, is even beyond 100 degrees centigrade. I want you to come out with Allah Ratamidam, Allah Rapano, Allah Ratamidam. Everything, don't people begin to talk anything. No! <laughs> no man wants to marry a, a man Natasha these days. Let me just use that uh, language. No man wants to marry a woman who will not listen to him. No man wants to marry a woman that has bad character. No woman wants to marry a woman that will be beating her at all. You say you are dating someone, you are dating someone, somebody you want to marry, you are dating him, you are you are you, you are, you are into courtship now. And um, somebody that is in courtship with you, you started beating her. <laughs> and you said you want to marry. Do you know how many sisters you have been beating and all of them has run away? Brother, it will take you that you open here to take you time. If you don't change your back character, somebody you want to marry, you have started beating her. And sister, somebody that wants to marry that started beating you. Even you are not even married to him, he has started beating you, and you say, it is because I love him. Okay. You will know that love eh, is just an expression. By the time it begins to deal with you when you are married, somebody who is beating you when you are not married, why must you go ahead and marry him? You say he will change. Who tells you that you don't change? A sister that is already married already. That even when you are, when there is a quarrel between the two of you, you cannot say to it until you call so many people to come and beg her on your behalf and you want to marry such a sister. Sister, no man wants to marry such a woman. No. The little quarrel between you and your, your, your somebody you want to marry, you cannot say to it. Then that marriage must not hold. And that is why some people are running away. That is why brothers are running away from you. Sister, that is why they are running away. Brother, because of your bad character. You tell lies a lot. There is no truthfulness in you in anything you say. Must you tell somebody that your father is down go to hell before they can marry you? Auntie, you don't need to tell anybody that you are your last daughter now. Why are you lying? Everything about you is like that character, attitude. You always see things from negative perspective. Nothing good about life. I say you want to marry. One of the factors that why you are being delayed. You are, your character is bad. Your attitude is bad. You have no regard for anyone. You have no respect for anyone. You have no respect for your friends. Even the person you say you want to marry, you have no regard for him. You are too rigid about everything. You are frowning your face every time. You are not somebody who is really looking for a husband that is frowning your face. You look as if you are a gorilla. You find your face, somebody even brothers in the church, or they greet in any place, your workplace, say good morning, say, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it won't work, oh. brother. It will not work. I'm not saying you are not holy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you are not born again, but your character is bad. And that is why nobody wants to marry you, sister, because your character is bad. That is why people are running away from you. You know it yourself. You, when you are angry, until they pop and bite on your head, you will, not be, you, you will not be satisfied. Until they begin to worship you like a goddess. It will not work. And that is why you have problem. Sister, I want you to understand that. And I want you to put that behind your brain. That that is why your problem refuses to go. Bad character and negative attitude. 
is a terrible force that is delaying people from getting married. It's one of the most crucial things that we need to look at and we need to take account of your life. Look at yourself. How many relationships have you entered into? How, why are they not working? Why is it that all the most relationships are not working? Everything is not demonic, it's not demonic, it's not witchcraft attack. Even you yourself, you are a witch yourself. Are you not the witch that is attacking yourself because of your bad character? Change your character and deal with the enemy. The Bible has said, say, when they gather against thee, uh -uh. but why are they gathering against you and they are succeeding? That's what I'm saying tonight. Why, 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 why is it that they gather and say, behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. But this one, they did not fall. They stand in the back. They stand like a local tree. Why? Your bad character, your bad attitude. Auntie, it's better you change you, bro. It's better you change that attitude. You know it yourself. Excessiveness in everything. She carry me. She carry me. You're too excessive in everything. Bad character. Don't go and change. Look at yourself. Take your account of your life. Just be a normal person. You don't need to do things extraordinarily. You don't need to bleach your body. You don't need to go and be buying cream of 120,000 naira before somebody will call you. I want to tell you that one million break cannot give you husband. That you are opening the way you dress, you open your breast for everybody to see, will not give you husband. That is just the truth. Brother, sadly, you are putting your, your trust up below your bum bum, will not give you a wife. If you like, go and cut the 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 the, 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 the airport, put one million uh, brothers that they are now missing earring. Go and put one twenty earring in your ear. It will not give you a wife. What will give you a wife is when you see the face of God and you have the right attitude and the right character. No woman want to marry a bad man. No woman want to marry a bad girl with bad character. Disrespectful woman. A woman who does not have any respect for anyone. A woman that despises everything that comes her way. A man that is distressful. You cannot even respect your spouse, the person you want to marry. You don't have any regard for them and say you want to marry. I'm sorry, it will not work. Don't help me in Jesus' name. So if you have that character tonight and you are listening to me, it is better for you to have really think and change your way. Change your way. That's why I said we are talking to ourselves tonight. We are getting things put in place tonight so that we can better have a better understanding. Another one, another factor, this one is a very serious one. It is what I call the activities of spiritual spouse. It's one of the factors. Yes, it's one of the, you know, people that are not, they are not ignorant. They have knowledge. They are not fornicating. Yes, they have good character and good attitude. But yet, they are unable to get married. Why? As a result of spiritual spouse. Spiritual spouse that we call spirit husband or spirit wife, they may be the reason or the force behind your marital delay. But if you are going to cry to God, because the word of God has said, say, when they gather together, not by me, hey, say, as men that gather together against this shine forth for your sake, spiritual spouse that are gathered against your marital brain to shine forth tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. By the authority of heaven, I decree against every spiritual husband, against every spiritual wife that is tormenting your marriage. Tonight, they shall fall for your sake and die for your sake in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual marriage that be contracted on your behalf, in your father's house, in your mother's house, I decree the decree of heaven. Tonight, let them cast fire, let them be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. You are set free, you are set free in Jesus' name we pray. Spiritual spouse is a very terrible demon. It's a terrible demon that works against marriages. In short, those demons, they are so jealous. I've been in the for the past 22 years and I understand what I'm talking about. But the day you take a battle to their gates, the day you take a battle to them and you fight them spiritually, in prayers, then they will let you go. Because the only language spiritual spouse understands is the language of violence. 
and the, the Bible made us understand that the kingdom of God suffered violence and takes a violent man to do what? To take it by force. So you need to force your marriage out of their hand. If they are the factor that is behind your marital delay, if that is the evil force that is delaying your marital breakthrough, you need to fight against them. Because most of these religious powers are being sponsored by household witchcraft. And every witchcraft power that is behind your marital delay, tonight they shall die for your sake in the name of Jesus. They shall die for your sake in the name of Jesus. They shall die for your sake in the name of Jesus. And I decree the decree of heaven. As many people are connected to this program, wherever you are, the God of Elijah will arise and fight your battle for you. Every witchcraft attack against your marriage, every witchcraft attack against your marital success, they shall be disgraced and be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. So, beloved, now, uh, okay. God bless you. Sister Favor, God bless you. I could see Baba today at this way, Victoria. God bless you. Uh, God bless everybody that is in this platform now. The Lord will bless your life. The Lord will raise you up in Jesus' name. Okay, you can see all that will enjoy it. God bless you, brother. It is well with you. Uh, you can leave your comment or questions now. You can be asking questions there. I will respond to them as quickly as possible. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Aha. Amen. Amen. Beloved, one thing I want us to understand tonight is this. It is very simple. It is very simple. Spiritual spouse is a terrible demon. But in as much as you can pray and you can fight, beloved, you can destroy their powers. You can waste them. And they shall be wasted for your sake in Jesus' name. So, beloved, I want to understand this factor very, very well. Spiritual spouse. What is a spiritual spouse? These are demons that devise a man. When he's asleep through sexual intercourse, or a demon that defies a woman when she's asleep through sexual intercourse, ritual sexual intercourse, and uh, they call them incubus and succubus. According to English dictionary, they're incubus and succubus. So this demon, they defy, they can come in form of a woman or in form of a man to defy you in a dream. They have sex with you. When they have sex with you, they, they make sure that they defy you and they become your spiritual husband or spiritual wife. And that is why when you wake up, you discover that some people, when they wake up, they discover that their, their private part is wet. It shows that you have a spiritual spouse. Some people, they say it is wet you. Okay, you better deal with the demon that is dealing with your life. It doesn't matter. I'll spend people that want to take me on on this. But one thing is this, that you don't believe in the law of gravity it does not mean that the law of gravity is not applicable to you. So that you don't believe in what I'm saying, that does not mean that what I'm saying is not in operation in your life. <laughs> That's not the truth. But why are you suffering under this demon? Because as a result of what? Your ignorance. And ignorance is the mother of all foolishness. And foolishness is the number one internal enemy of progress in life. I have, like I've said before. So, beloved, when you're able to deal with the spirit of spell, with this demon called spiritual spouse, you deal with them seriously. And you must take an account of your life before you can deal with them. You can't be fornicating and say you want to deal with spiritual spouse. You are wasting time. You cannot be having unforgiving spirits inside of you and say you want to deal with spiritual spouse. You are wasting time. You cannot be an enemy of God and say you want to deal with spiritual spouse. You'll be wasting time. For you to deal with spiritual spouse, number one, you must be born again, number two, you must be holy, number three, you must be a prayerist. You must take a battle to them with only madness, with violence in your spirit. And there's a need for you to quickly go for deliverance if you discover that at any point in time you have been having sex in the dream. It shows that you have a spiritual spouse. And it can work against your marriage. Or you discover that 
when you wake up in the morning, you see your credit card and it's wet. And you say, yeah, it is, it is wet drink. It is not wet drink, it is It is free transfer that defies you. It's only that you don't know. Or you find yourself that somebody is caressing you in your dream. Or you are, you are kissing somebody in your dream. Or you are having sex with anyone in your dream. It shows that it's free transfer. Let me just stop there. And if you discover that any of these things is happening to you in your dreamland, then you must quickly go for deliverance. Quickly run for deliverance. Give your life to Jesus. Submit everything to God. And go and pray against this demon. Because if you don't deal with it, they will deal with you. It doesn't matter whether you are aware or you are not aware. Ignorance is not an excuse. That your ignorance of what they are doing really does not matter. What matters is that they are dealing with you. And that is just a simple, simple uh, analysis. May the Lord fight for you in Jesus' name. I think let me just tell us one more before we go and pray now. Because I really want us to pray tonight. Beloved, I want to tell you again that one or other factor that is responsible for marital delay is as a result of evil covenant and bad foundation. Evil covenant. When there is covenant of delay, when there is covenant of delay in your life, in your foundation, it will work against your marriage. If you are on, operating under evil curse, it will work against your marital breakthrough. If you are, you are under, you are operating under parental curse or witchcraft curse or whatever curse that is operating in your life, curse. Since there are different types of curses, but that's not where we are going tonight. But what I want to understand is that if your life is under curse, then you need to cry out and break the curse because every curse that is unbroken will remain. But the curse that is broken, it will, when you break it through prayers, when you cry unto God and you break the curses, it will be broken. So God will fight for you in Jesus' name. So evil covenants, curses, and bad foundation can lead to parental delay. Because curses will introduce poverty into your life, curses will introduce spiritual delay and marital delay. Curses will bring serious or unwanted problems on your way all the time. And that is why you need to pray to God tonight. So poverty is a terrible weapon that curses and evil covenant and bad foundation are using. And I'm praying for you tonight. The Lord will give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Three powerful. Hallelujah. 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 So these are the few factors I'm going to discuss with us tonight. Out of 21 factors. Maybe by the time we meet next time, I will tell you the other factors that leads to marital delay. But these factors are just celebrated now. They are major factors that are working against people. I've never seen a poor man that wants to marry. What will you use to feed your wife? When you are poor, it will bring delay. No woman wants to marry a poor man. No woman want to marry a poor man. Let, don't let us deceive ourselves. Money is very important in marriage. A home where there is poverty, that home will so scatter. That is the truth. Money is important in marriage. You must have a good source of income. At least one thing you can put that will put food on your table and the table of your wife every day. You must have it. Something that will feed your children every day, you must have it. You can't marry and say, eh, no, eh, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be paid to my friends. I'll be borrowing money from my friends. No, I'll be collecting food from my friends. No, it will not work. And no woman will want to marry you once they know that you don't have any source of income. God will bless you in Jesus' name. So, covenant, evil covenant, bad foundation, demonic foundation can introduce poverty into your life. They can bring Bad foundation can lead you into demonic curses, witchcraft curses in your foundation, or family evil curses can be working against you. I've seen a family that every female child born in that family, none of them got married. Until one prayed herself out. Nobody, all of them, 30, 35, 35, 40, they are not married. Until one is able to pray to himself or herself out, breaking the covenant in that family. I am praying for you. The Lord will set you free tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, if you want to go and pray now, 
Beloved, if you are listening to me now, anywhere you are, and you know that you are not born again, it is time for you now to surrender your life to Jesus. You know you are far from the truth. You know you are not following God. You know that whatever you are doing now, even if you pray, you know it yourself that you are not in the camp of Almighty God. That is why you need to cry to God tonight. That is why you need to pray to God tonight. Beloved, I want you to bow down your head and talk to God. Say, Father, I come to you tonight. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. Lord Jesus, I am in your presence tonight. I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins, Lord. All I've done in the past, I'm sorry about it. Lord Jesus, tonight, I have accepted you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, write my name in the book of life. I say bye bye to the devil. Lord Jesus, I come into your kingdom. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. If you have prayed those prayers with me, I want to pray with you now. Father, I bring your children to your presence tonight. Have mercy upon them. Show them your mercy. Let the power be upon their life. Every activity of that power should be let them be destroyed tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, before we go to our, our prayers, like we have known that this program will terminate by 12 o'clock, before 12, we will terminate before 12, but let us still go ahead. If you have any questions to ask now, you can start sending your questions to the message box, the comment box. Send your message there. God bless you in Jesus' name. You can, you can send your question out. You can ask questions from here. God bless you in Jesus' name. Ask your question. So we are waiting for your questions. Ask your questions now. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You can ask your questions. Ask your questions now. If you are still on our Facebook Live, you can ask your questions now. I'm waiting for your questions before we go and pray. Because now we want to go and pray. Uh, we have some few people on our Facebook, on our Facebook Live now. And we are waiting for them to ask their questions. If you have any questions to ask, you can ask now. It is well with you in Jesus' name. I hope we are not faced uh, with uh, Network problems. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Ask your questions. I'm waiting for your questions. So, all right. Uh, why those on Facebook Live? Uh, why we are waiting for their questions? Uh, those of us that are the on YouTube, you may have one or two questions to ask as well. You can send your question to 070 305 You can send your question to it on the on WhatsApp. You can send your question to our WhatsApp line 070 So by the time we check through that. We are going to get your questions and respond to it. While we are still waiting for some other questions to come, beloved, there is a need for us to pray now because of our time. Close your eyes wherever you are now as we want to pray. Oh Lord, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, oh Lord, oh Lord. My God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how wonderful is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Amen. Beloved, we want to pray now. You are going to roar like thunder. Say, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. 
In the name of Jesus, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my father, open your mouth and praise. O Lord, my father, arrest the arrest of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, arrest the rest of my marriage, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord my Father, arrest the rest of my marriage, 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 in the name of Jesus, arrest the rest of my marriage, arrest the rest of my marriage, in the name of Jesus, amen, 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 in the name of Jesus, powers attacking my marital breakthrough. Die. In the name of Jesus. Aha, open your mouth and pray. Powers attacking my marital breakthroughs. Die, 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 I shall marry you by fire in the name of Jesus. By fire, by force, I will get you. When the other the enemy likes or not, in the name of Jesus, I will receive my greater breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Say evil covenant speaking against my marriage. Break in the name of Jesus. Every covenant speaking against my marriage, I command to break tonight. I command to break tonight. In the name of Jesus, I command to break tonight. In the name of Jesus, I command to break tonight. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Say evil character, say bad character, negative character in me that is chasing women away. What are you, brothers? You said I'm chasing men away. Sister, you said I'm chasing men away from me. What are you waiting for? Da 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 da. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil character, negative character in my life. There is no allow any man to see me. There are no one any woman to see me. What are you waiting for? I come to die. I come to die. I come to die. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say negative character that is working against my marital breakthrough die tonight in the name of Jesus tonight you must die 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 Three powerful amen to that. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let us check now uh, for questions. If there are any questions there on our Facebook, when well, if there's no question on our Facebook, we we'll continue. Please uh how many of them are in our uh, uh, YouTube now? Let's see them so that we can see if they are sending questions to us on that uh, WhatsApp line so that we can attend to those questions before we continue our prayers. How many do we have there? Okay, let's continue with our prayers. We are going to shout again. Say, Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Destroy the destroyer of my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Destroy the destroyer of my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Destroy the destroyer of my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Destroy the destroyer of my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Destroy the destroyer of my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Destroy the destroyer of my marriage. Amen. Jesus name we pray. Say attack against my marital breakthrough. Die, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Every attack against my marital breakthrough. Die in the name of Jesus. Every wish come attack against my marital breakthrough. I command to die. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray again like this. Say powers. Standing against my marital breakthrough, what are you waiting for? Collapse and die. 
Collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Power standing against my mental breakthrough. Collapse and die. 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 Collapse, die. Collapse, die. Collapse, die. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Break every joke and limitation over my marriage in the name of Jesus. Every joke of limitation over my marriage be broken now. Holy Ghost fire. Break it now. 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 In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. You are going to pray like this. Say every witchcraft covenant that is operating against my marriage. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wish can come and is operating against my marriage. Be broken by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, arise in your power. Let the bone of my bone appear. Let the flesh of my flesh appear and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in your power. Let the bone of my bone appear. Let the flesh of my flesh appear and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Masekata Proya. Rekete Yelia Rabo Senta Kapu. Let the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh, appear and locate you. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that is standing against your mind that break you, I shall let them with fire. Let them be destroyed. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Beloved, two more prayers to pray in this session before we go. We are going to run like this. Say, every spiritual spouse that is standing against my marital breakthrough, you are a liar. Dah! In the name of Jesus, spiritual spouse working against my marital breakthrough, you are a liar. Da, 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 Jesus name we pray. I am going to say this one again. Say, serpent claiming to be my wife. Sisters who say serpent claiming to be my husband. Brother says serpent claiming to be my wife. You are going to roar like thunder. Say serpent claiming to be my wife. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Every serpent claiming to be my wife. You are a liar. Die by fire. 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 Die 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Father, I'm praying for your children that are connected to this program. Or oh, as many of them that will connect to this program later to watch it. As many that are live to this program now and they that will connect to it later. Lord Jesus, let your fire fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Every hour of ignorance that the enemy is using against their marital breakthrough, let that arrow catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic weapon that the enemy is using against their marital sources, I command them to be wasted tonight in the name of Jesus. As when they are gathered together against them, they shall fall for their sake in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft power behind your marital failure, I command them now, let them fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every satanic load of marital delay that they prepare for your life, I command you all of you who to bend down and carry their load down in the name of Jesus from this hour. Go and be connected to your spouse. Go and be connected to your husband. Be connected to your wife. That man that heaven has prepared for you. Oh yeah, let occurrence of God that will connect you together in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree the decree of heaven by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree of God that by the current establishment of fire and break ministry. Every hour of parental delay, every joke of parental delay, every current of that shall break in your life. I command it to break now, 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 break now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Three parts we to that. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, God bless you. In Jesus' name, it is well with you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God of Elijah will help you. He will set you free. No wickedness or wickedness shall prosper. God bless you by today in Jesus' name. Amen. Three powerful men to that. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, this program is for singles, and we are reaching you from Water of Fire and Recognition Church in the Four at Dewey Pity. 
God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. And don't forget that this program will come up in the next two weeks again. Just one hour, some few minutes, maybe one hour, 15 minutes program like that. That we are sharing to share our experiences together and we pray. And I want to tell you that the work we are having is going to be full of prayers, full of exhortations, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. And I want to tell you that your marriage will be a success in that mighty name of Jesus. For counseling and prayers, uh, you can call us on this line 70 You can send your WhatsApp, you can send an SMS. Or you can call us directly on that line for counseling. I want to tell you that in the new church now we have married counselors called sanctified married counselors. And by the grace of God, I'm a sanctified married counselor. So, and I, when I'm talking, I know what I'm talking about. I've been a counselor for more than 15 years now. Married counselor for more than 16 years now. So, God bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord of Elijah will bless your life. The God that will serve on this mountain will not leave you alone. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. God bless you. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. Have a nice rest.